Jeremy Borash is in search of Kurt Angle as he tries to get to the bottom of this Karen Angle situation. Let's go to JB. Kurt? Kurt, are you in here? No, go away. I hear your voice. I know that's you. It's... What the? Kurt and Raka? That... No, Kurt, the bat... Wrong get out. Come on. Get out of here. You... Wow, Kurt Angle puts out a hit on Karen Angle. Now he's in a conference with Scott Steiner, Petey Williams, and Raka Khan. What a weird situation that is. Up next on Impact, our second title match, the TNA World Tag Team Championship is on the line. Sorry about your damn luck. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is for the TNA World Tag Team Championship. Scheduled for one fall, introducing team number one. First, accompanied to the ring by the pride of Tennessee, Jacqueline, from Leapers for Tennessee, Cowboy Jake Storm. Well, one thing you can say about the Cowboy Jake Storm is that he's no stranger to the TNA Tag Team Championship. And this is a situation. Partnering up here with Robin Rue tonight to try to get those fans back and start another era in his career. And you know what? The way Jake Storm's been going about his business, he's trying for it tonight. LAS better really be taking this seriously, and they better not be hung over from the matchup with Team 3D and Final Mercury. And his tag team partner from Wall Street, in Manhattan, New York, Robert Rude. Sunday at Slammiversary, Robert Rude went into King of the Mountain with the goal of becoming the TNA World Heavyweight Champion. But at the same time, Don, we know that Robert Roode wanted to prove to everyone that he belonged among the elite in TNA. And when I watched his performance in King of the Mountain, I think he accomplished that goal. And the opponents are coming into the ring by Hector Guerrero, the TNA World Tag Team Champions. And her is the Latin American Kid Oh, we had a great time at TNA's debut in Memphis, Tennessee for Slammiversary. And I know that the Latin American Exchange and Hector Guerrero, they were parting it up out on Beale Street. Post-match celebration, yes, they retained the gold. The TNA World Tag Team titles still in their possession after that wild match with Brother Ray and Brother Dave on Team 3D. Well, conspicuous by her absence in the corner of LAX is Salinas, and she is on location doing a knockout photo shoot. We want to direct you to TNAWrestling.com for more information on that. Check out those pictures of Salinas. Always good to go to TNAWrestling.com. You can also check out all the other knockouts as well and so much other. Homicide looked like he was coming out a little cocky to me, but you know what? That's his way, and that's okay. Robert Rude right now, one thing about it. LAX, they work together so well. That's one thing you have to admit. Maybe as good or better than any tag team in the world right now today. Hernandez, Homicide, they bring so much. Robert Rude, James Storm, well, this is the first. I mean, they're really going to have to get to learn each other very quickly, and it's going to have to be tonight. Homicide and Rude square off, and Rude shoves him off into the ropes. Homicide comes off, Rude ready for him, but quickly reversed by Homicide, who takes him over with a high hip toss, then follows it up, catches him with a boot high into the chest, and caught him that time with the kick right in the gut. Now he's going for the cover right here, trying to make this really quick, but Robert Rude gets that shoulder up in time. I'm going to tell you what I think Robert Rude and James Storm have to do, Mike. I think they're going to have to tag each other quickly. They're going to have to keep LAX off balance. They can't stay out there too long, or it'll be over quick. And look at Homicide right there with that dark hole, putting face first into the mat. And going right at him with the boot. Memphis, Tennessee was great for Slammiversary, but we can't wait till we hit Houston, Texas with Victory Road. We have late breaking news on our debut in Houston, the Victory Road pay-per-view. It's available at TNA Mobile. Text TNA to 76,000. And how about that power move from Supermax Hernandez, followed up by the in-tight dropkick by Homicide. Well, one thing, we see the pin. Oh, Cowboy gets the shoulder up in time. I think it's Slammiversary. One thing that Hernandez showed the whole world. If they haven't heard it from us enough, 
just what an incredible athlete that he really is. And the combination between the two of them is unlike any other dynamic right now in tag team wrestling. Hernandez, you look at him and you see the strength and the muscle, but then when you see him do those acrobatic things, you understand where the super Mexican comes from and how the side, well, he's just fearless. Corner clothesline by Homicide. Follows it up at the corner mount. And now, going to rein in those right hands. Series of shots to the top of the head of the Cowboy. And you see Robert Roode comes over to interfere. But at the same time, Jacqueline was distracting the referee. And that's got Hector Guerrero P.O. Well, that's what they had to do to get this momentum turned. I mean, you can't agree with it. But you expect it with Robert Roode. You expect it with James Storm to take it in. Look at that. But she's got a belt. She's got the belt. She's got it wrapped around Homicide's neck. And she was just choking him to death down there. And Homicide lost his breath. And now Robert Roode takes advantage of it. He's just choking the life out of him with that leather belt. That leather strap and look at Ruth follow up this advantage. First the kicks, kneeling with several strikes, then the punches, look and again, again the referee is taken out of play here by Hernandez, and yes, she follows up again by wrapping that leather belt, that strap right around his neck. The referee doesn't realize it. Hernandez realizes that things are going bad. The homicide right now, he's got to be going through confusion. As I mean, she was just you know how strong Jackson is. She was just cinching that thing against the neck, taking the air right out of him. Boy, this is such an important matchup with the TNA World Tag Team titles at stake. You hate to see it decided by anything like that kind of outside interference. Storm the quick cover. Referee Shane Sewell down for the count and only two. Well, you can see he's going for another count. There it is. Two. Storm realized that Homicide was weakened. You could see it. His, his gate was slower, and he hit him with that high knee, and James Storm thought he had the shot. That's why he went right for the pin again, and look at this. Keeping Homicide over here in their corner, and Robin Roode comes in and just... The double team on him right now is too much. He's got to get Hernandez in here quickly. Got to give him props. Back to the basics of tag team wrestling for the Tennessee Cowboy and Robert Roode. They're cutting off the ring. Homicide trying to turn things around. Inverted atomic drop. Now he tags in and Hernandez comes in. Slingshot shoulder block. Then the clothesline for Storm. Here goes Roode for the ride. And he, Whoa! Wow, look at that. He just took him up into the lights. Here comes the shirt off. And he goes right around the neck of Storm. And look at him throw him. That superhuman strength of Hernandez throws him into the turnbuckle. Look at this. Oh, man. Got him up on the shoulder and powers him down. Here we go. One, two. Storm in to break it up. And now Homicide comes in. And this thing's broken down with all four men in. And Homicide just got decked by Storm. James Storm, nice shot on Homicide. But you can see Hernandez, you can see, trying to get him spun around. Nice kick by James Storm. As Homicide got turned the wrong direction. But, I mean, Hernandez, but Hernandez takes Storm all the way up and onto the steps. James hit, Storm hit the steps. Yeah, bad landing for Storm when he got sent out to the floor that time. Storm outside, Jacqueline trying to revive him, get him back into play. And, wow, Storm just knocked him out with that kick. Just came right up to the apron and kicked him right in the back of the head. Caught Hernandez, and now you can see Robin Rude going right after him as Homicide took care Roots trying to hit him with the payoff, but he no. can't quite do it. And look at the strength of Hernandez. Overpowered with the front suplex after Homicide hit the gringo killer outside on score. Now, check this out. Root up in the shoulders of Supermax. Homicide headed to the top floor. Here he goes. Wait a minute. Jacqueline up on the apron. Again, the distraction. Robin Root able to get down and push Hernandez into Homicide. And what's going on? You can just see the Wait, you, Did you see that? She handled the belt. Yeah, she just took the belt. She took that, that leather strap and handed it into James Storm. He's wrapping it around his boot. He's got it around his boot, and you can see he's got the buckle side on the bottom of the shoe. That's Hernandez still right now. A heck of a girl trying to explain what's going on, as you can see it there. But while that's going on, Hernandez, though, has Robert Root, and he's going to try to hit him with a border toss. Got him up. Takes him up to his shoulders, and... Oh! He walked right into that super kick, but the boot was loaded. 